Jack, for her first game, a lot of emotion out there. Uh, just how, how did you sort of feel maybe things change in that game for you guys, that first period, maybe trying to do a little too much? I wouldn't say too much, you know. Got to give them credit. Uh, they came out in the first, and they, you know, they brought their game. So <laughs> we were kind of on our heels, and, uh, you know, I think V stood on his head in the first just like he did in the whole game. But, yeah. On that first goal, did you aim for the for his back there to try and ricochet it off? Yeah, you guys have seen me score those goals my whole career, so uh, I think goalies have a pretty good read on me that I like to shoot from those spots. But yeah, that was just uh, where I wanted to put it, and you know, I uh, think it went right where I wanted to go. That penalty was it just a matter of frustration, given you know someone right on top of you there? Yeah, I mean, obviously. That's not a good penalty for me to take, so I gotta own up to that and just uh, look myself in, in the mirror and be like, "That's a, that's a, I gotta check my emotions there, and that's a bad play out of me, you know, because I, I put our team down and we're back in a hockey game." But you know, I think that first one was kind of a, that was a chintzy call. So uh, it is what it is, but yeah. Overall, for the team to regroup and get the win, though, Jack, is it, is it good? Just game one, and obviously you guys wish you played it better first, but uh, overall, to get the win. Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely not our A game, but uh, a win's a win, and you know, uh, come January, we'll, it'll just be two points, you know. So that's uh, we want to get off on on the right foot, especially with you know all the noise, and you know, it was good for our fans to you know they showed out tonight, and they were really excited, and you know, for us to come out and win, and that's uh, very important. Last year, you know, we didn't we didn't come out too well in the home opener, so these are uh, these are really important games. You feeling of that top line, how you guys work together tonight? Yeah, we're lucky. We got, you know, we got two top lines, and then we got obviously a really deep uh, third and fourth line. So I think our line, we we were playing well, and as the game got better, um, I think you started to see guys get more pucks and uh, just a little bit more connectivity. But um, you know, I hope our game continues to, to develop, and you know, I hope tomorrow night we're even better. Yeah, like I said, he carried us so. He was uh, he was on his game for sure. He's definitely a horse, and um, I mean, we'd like our goalies to play like that every night. We know that's not going to happen, but you know, I think he had a stellar performance, and I think we got to put a better foot out uh, tomorrow night for whichever goalies in that. Jack, can you walk us through that, that second goal too? Looks like you know looked. I don't know if I know looked at a lot more of just uh, a lot of traffic coming by, and you know, uh, maybe a flash screen on the goalie by Bradder and. Uh, one of those D, but just a really good drive by Bradder because it opens up the whole ice for me. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to keep that going. For for a first game, really, where you guys are playing against tough competition, how, how did that feel? I mean, you looked dialed in right from the beginning there. I mean, I felt uh, really good. You know, like when you see a lot of shots in first period, that uh, helped me uh, to get to the game. And then um, it was tight in first, you know, and then second uh, start scoring goals. But... Uh, I was calm and then uh, just playing the game. For you, that calmness, was it just sort of a matter of getting those first couple of, of uh, saves in and then settling in? Yes, that's <laughs> what it is. And then uh, watching the guys how they playing when they are on the other side, you know, <laughs> just not thinking about anything. What do you think when you see how they're playing over there on the other side, particularly the second uh, and third period? I mean, it's, uh, it's crazy how good team we have. Do you like the amount of work you got in the first there, Vitek, just to kind of get into the flow? I mean, they took a shot like 10 seconds in, like right off the face off, too. I mean, is it good to get in the flow as a goalie? Yeah, for sure. I already answered this question, but you came a little bit too late, but uh, that's okay. I can answer again. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's it's the best for the goalie what you can get, you know, like I was uh, like 10 or 13 shots, something like that, and then uh, you're feeling really uh, comfortable when you get these shots. You're getting, like, to the game, you know, like. It's huge for goalies. There was a one point there. There was a two-on-one. Cop took the shot at the left post. Was this question asked too? No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Um, what do you remember about that save there? Mm. Second period. The two-on-one. Two-on-one. No. Siegs was lying down. But I saved that. It was in post. Oh, the yeah, blocker yeah. save? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, thought yeah. you said I did it hit post. It, no, no, no. How, no. It was, oh. at, it was at that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Six did good job, you know. I saw that, like, I think it was Sprung. He was really low, and then I know he can shoot, so I was a little bit cheating to getting the pass I can get quick as possible.
Thanks, Dean. <laughs> Dougie, something about um, opening nights here at Prudential Center for you, scoring. You've been here three times, three goals. No, I mean, I was aware of it for sure, and uh, didn't score in preseason. I was kind of thinking, you know, you never know. You could take 10 games to score. You never know when it's going to come. And um, I had some good looks, actually, in the rest of the game, and just not not quite there yet and um, luckily, luckily enough uh, got one past the screen and a uh, big goal for us so obviously it's nice. Does it feel good to sort of be here now where the season has started you guys be able to come out with this win here? Yeah it's huge I think uh, obviously preseason is preseason and um, it's different hockey and uh, there's definitely a lot more intensity today and they're a really good team and uh, our crowd and fans and uh, a lot of excitement so um, yeah, just good for us to get the first win. I think uh, it's going to help us with our confidence, and we'll get right back at it tomorrow. Can you speak to the way VTech played, particularly in that first period? The shots were kind of lopsided and allowed you guys to find your groove a bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it probably could have been 5 nothing after the first. So, uh, played great uh, all game, and... Um, He's a good goalie, and that's what good goalies do. So uh, we're going to need him to keep doing that all year. Is it hard not to be a spectator when Jack has the puck on his stick? Uh, I mean, on the bench, I definitely am a spectator, but on the ice, I'm trying to get open. So um, but definitely, I think everyone feels the same way when he, when he gets the puck. Lindy, can you speak to particularly your goaltender Vitek in that first period? Dougie was just saying it could have easily been five nothing for Detroit without him. Yeah, it made a lot of a lot of good saves uh, until we found our game, and uh, you know you didn't want to start a game like that. Uh, they were the better team in the first period. I thought we turned the corner in the second, but uh, you know overall wasn't wasn't a by any means a Picasso we we drew up there. What was sort of the shift that you saw in your team? Was it more the first period, just sort of that excitement? That like, how did you sort of see that shift? I, I didn't think we skated. We didn't skate on pucks. We didn't skate with it. We we didn't handle a puck very well. Um, our wall play was poor, and I could keep going if you want. <laughs> what do you make of uh, Michael McLeod's line and the way those three players have been able to connect in their effectiveness? Well. I, you know, I think every every team needs a line that has you know role players that you know penalty killers, face off guys. Uh, when things are maybe going the other way, a, a line that gets it in deep and kind of grinds the other team. And I, you know, I thought for the most part that line uh, did that. I thought Nosek had a good night. Um, so there was parts of their game I thought was really good. Uh, how'd, you, how'd you feel about Alexander Holtz's game with uh, Eric and? and on um, you know, I thought okay. Um, you know, again, we'll we'll look at the game in full. It was a night where we didn't have we had a lot of guys that uh, we're going to need better games out of. So it, I wouldn't even point at one guy. It seems like a couple moments where your team needed it the most, and Jack steps up. Would you make it his couple goals tonight? Well, again, you know, he's got that dynamic ability to create his own opportunities, and we've seen that shot before. Um, we actually talked about it this morning. We thought, you know, we're going to see it once or twice. And, you know, he hit the perfect spot. And then the, you know, second goal, he created all that on his own. So um, for, for Jack overall, I think he, you know, good night, two goals. Ruined his chance at the Lady Bing, obviously. Um, yeah, that's the new Jack Hughes. Lindy, um, Jack also talked about, you know, the, the penalty he took, uh, the slashing penalty where you guys were up 2-1, um, took some accountability for it. Did you say anything to him in, in that moment? No, after no because, I, you know, I really believe he's at the point where he understands. He, he knows that, you know, it's a penalty we don't want to take. Uh, you know, we had pretty good momentum going. Um, you know, I thought that gave them momentum. And, uh, you know, it's one area of the game we talk about uh, where we don't, we don't want to spend a excessive amount in the penalty box. You said in the beginning of the game, you know, there were a plethora of things that you weren't happy with. What would you say was the turning point in order to get them playing more the way um, that you wanted them and to see the effectiveness on the ice? I, you know, I thought really the second period was shorter shifts. Uh, we got our feet moving. We skated on pucks. You know, we got pucks. We didn't stand there. You know, you can look at the end of the first period. We got a puck right by the blue line and we put it back in our zone and it ends up being a scoring chance against uh, you know, 
get going north, we, we weren't connected. Uh, you know, we were, had two guys heading one direction, one guy bringing the puck back, and um, I thought in the second period for a while we got going pretty good, but there was, you know, there was pockets of good play. Uh, but I know consistently through the game we can be a lot better team. Did, um, what, what are your thoughts on the play of the top two lines, the chemistry on those lines? Um, you know, I, I'm going to base it on one game. I thought, uh, again, I had individuals that didn't have a very good night. So, you know, I can point to, to a lot of different players and, and go to different lines because, you know, I thought maybe Bradder struggled with the puck tonight on on Jack's line and, and Merce struggled with the puck and maybe didn't skate as well as he can skate. So I thought every line was, you know, had something missing. So it, it was hard to, it was hard to get some continuous flow in the game when, you know, maybe two guys were going pretty good and one guy wasn't. What were your thoughts on Luke's game tonight? Uh, I thought his game was, was okay. You know, I'll take a harder look at it. There's obviously some uh, defensive stuff I'd like to, you know, I'd like to see cleaned up, but he's still in the learning stages. So uh, overall, first game um, on a big night, I thought he handled it pretty well. What did you think of Tyler Tafoli's uh, evening tonight? Um, you know, I'd have to take a closer look. I don't know if he was in on a lot. He, you know, I thought in the second period, power play, one opportunity. Uh, didn't have the puck as much as he did in the preseason. Um, but it, the whole group falls and is disconnected and really didn't play that well. So, uh, you know, if we want to go through the whole team, I can probably give you something bad. I can, I can probably give you something bad about everybody. Um, but we know as a group we've got to be better. In terms of managing the mental game here, how um, is it beneficial or is it not to have won this game knowing that there's a laundry list of things that there's you did not like? There's lots of benefits to that. Uh, Knowing that you didn't play your best game, that you found a way to win, that uh, there were some key moments where we did some really good things to, to take the lead, uh, to be able to fight back, you know, to you know end up getting down, getting up, tying the game up, to go and then going ahead, and then fighting back to get ahead again. So, uh, you know, I thought there was stuff inside the game you like as a coach, and uh, you know we got quite a few new pieces, and we got to continue to continue to grow as a team. You say you thought you might see that. That, that shot from Jack, you, you thought Huso kind of would expose kind of the bank there, or what do you mean? No, it, it's a shot that he likes. Uh, you know, I think if you watched highlights last night, I think you would have saw, I don't know if it was the L.A. game or whatever game it was, same type of shot, you know, where the goalies are getting a little cr crouched down by the post and it goes short side. So it, it's, a, it's a shot that's in the uh, toolbox of a lot of good players now when they, you know, when they see the goaltender leaving that, that small area up top. You guys scored a power play goal. You gave up two power play goals. What did you think of special teams as a whole? Uh, again, I thought average. We had moments of, of real good play. Obviously, our second power play, we could have scored. We we had a couple good opportunities. Um, we had chances to clear the puck penalty killing. But I think that hurt us the most. We didn't get it down the ice. You got tired bodies on the ice, and we get scored against. So we won a draw, and we don't get it down the ice on that on that last kill. So uh, just details that we got to clean up as a team.